M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Wakes Now all in one programming cable. M0FXB, looking at this 8 in one programming cable. Um, I mean, I wouldn't take this lid off because when you do, it does look a bit scary. I have tested this and it does work on my Bofeng UV5, UV8, and my Zhuangpi 8800. So that alone really makes it worthwhile. So looking at the actual connectors, you know, you want to know what's doing what. Well, if you look here, you've got HKAK on the left side here, and you can follow the cables down. Um, so it's, I'm pretty sure the H is Hytera, K is Kenwood, Kenwood 2. The A, is that any tone? That's one I'm not sure of. If I follow it down, they haven't they haven't labeled the actual cables but you can follow them so there you go the first one here coming from here says hi Terra looks like that uh, the second one along says Kenwood now to me that's that that's the one you'd probably use on both hungs as well uh, that I would say that is the one the third one along is looks like this a let me know what you think a stands for and then we've got these type ones here, which is also says Kenwood. I know that some radios you do plug um, the cables into your uh, you know, microphone socket. So, and then on the, the other group of cables here, you just follow them down as you do. The first one I would say is Yesu. I need to test that one, I'm gonna test it. And let's go to the next one, I for ICOM. It's quite small, the icon one. Try that out. And then you've got M for Motorola and another for Motorola. So I think it's geared up more really for older radios. The chipset in this does work, it is detected by Windows 10 and 11. That's a CH340, very, very popular chipset, um, you know, especially with older radios. So yeah, I mean, this cost me about 12, 13 pound. It comes with the, the drives are on a CD. I know a lot of people don't have CD players now, but you can actually buy a USB CD player these days, really cheap, like six or seven pound. And they work well, I've got one, I'll just show you. Yeah, it looks like this. And you just have a couple of USB connectors put into your laptop. Let's see what these cost. Yeah, so this one here is more like 17, 18 pound, but that's from Amazon. I like Amazon because you can return it if you don't really want it. Um, so there you go. So these are the these are what is on the CD when you open it. So I'll just show you quickly. So you've got the driver for the CH340. Got all these. Some of them I don't recognize. Let's go back. FT32, got all these drivers here. This all comes with it. And PL203, and you've got a few options here. Let's just open one. So it comes with some, you know, a decent amount of uh, software. I'll need to uh, try it out on a few more devices. And as I do, I'll make a separate video showing it. So I think it is a budget device and the quality of the soldering under here and what it looks like isn't very good. I've got some photographs of that. As you can see, it does look a bit of a mess, but it does seem to work. So it's a mess, but it works. I mean, these are quite low price and I have got it working on a few of my radios already. So that sort of makes it worthwhile and it's easy to find because it's quite a size. So I would say if you want a cable that's going to work on some radios, uh, it, for, the, for around 12, 13 pound, I think it's okay. Uh, it's, I'm definitely gonna. It's gonna be easy to grab. You know, if I want to program one of my Bofungs, and the Zhuang Pi, it was very handy that it did the Zhuang Pi, which is this radio. I mean, you can program this radio by Bluetooth, but it's quite handy being able to do it on the PC. And I think with this cable here, just don't pull it. You don't want to pull it and break the connectors. But I mean, I've enclosed the photograph. If you did, then. Um, you know, just to put it back together again. And I actually bought it hoping it would work on my TYT, on my Retivist 95, using this connector. And I'll show you what that looks like. Which is this one here, but unfortunately, I, 
it wasn't detecting it. Maybe I. Is there a method, of, a way of putting this into programming mode? Uh, I know there's a way of doing it into firmware mode. So I'll keep trying, but it's interesting. But with Bofang radios, it seems to work fine, and using Chirp as well. And had no problem with the Bofang Triple Eight, which is quite handy. Anyway, 73, thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe if you're finding this interesting. This is the 8-in-1 program, USB programming cable. They come in all different kinds of models, and this one's called Wakes now, but there's all sorts. But this is the, the bit they all have in common is where they list the different cables here. Unfortunately, there's no labels at the end of the cable, so you have to sort of follow them down to work out what does what. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best. Just looking at this all-in-one programming cable. Just another video on this all-in-one cable I've got. So we've got it connected to the, first of all, the Bofeng Triple Eight, and then the UV5. This is what the cable looks like. You can see it in the Amazon listing. And it's just plugged in and it comes up Device Manager. Just right click, select Device Manager. Then go to Ports. Double click and it comes up with CH340COM10. So download Chirp and open it. You get a window like this. You need to select the radio up here. Select Download from Radio. You'll get this window. Just put in COM10 and then the radio you're using at this point it's the BF888. Click OK. And it will just start cloning. And it's working fine. And you'll end up you'll end up with all your programming channels. And let's move it across to the UV5. So it's a twin pin connector we've used. Just that one. There's a few choices. That one's closer together. Right, well we're in there. We've got a UV9 as well. But anyway, let's do that. So this time we've chose both and UV5 and we're going to click OK. And there you are, we're now cloning what is on that radio. And it's flashing away and it's working fine. And when it gets to the end, you'll have whatever's in that radio. And obviously you can change it here. Just double click. Just double click what you want to change. Look, frequency, tone squelch, all the usual. And the good thing about using the Chirp software, you can actually set names as well. You know, with the UV5, look, here we've got all names set. You can't do that with the programming soft, with the, you know, just in the radio. So I hope this helps. All in one cable, they're about £13. And I've used it so far on the Bofeng UV5, the Bofeng AAA, and I've also used it on the Zhuangpi 8800, or I think it's the other word, is Radtel 490. 7.3, thanks for watching, all the best.